This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course and part of Course E. In the Express course, it's Lesson 21. In Course E, it's Lesson 16, Functions with the Harvester, Puzzle 11. This puzzle is amazing. Oh, that's because it's amazing and challenging. Is your function still helpful for this puzzle? I would assume yes, because they're asking it. Remember, we can always get hints by clicking here. Okay, so we have 16 blocks they want us to use, and we have one in the workspace. Well, it looks like they're still using a square here, just like the last puzzle. So if you were stuck on the last puzzle, you should go check out my video on that, because this one's very similar. We're just going to need to use the function more, I think. Let's start by making our function do something. And I'm going to name it the same thing. I think I said pick square perfect and then what do I want to do to go into a square I'm gonna move forward right and then it looks like all the lettuces one but this one just like last time move forward pick lettuce then action move forward again and that will put me here and then I'm gonna to want to turn right okay and that will be one side of the square so if we step through it, oh, I need to actually call the function. Calling the function means I'm asking the function to run. So when run, pick function, the computer says, what's pick function? Oh, here it is. And it runs this code then. It says move forward once. Pick lettuce. So I pick the lettuce. Move forward. I move forward. And then I turn right. And once I turn right, I would hit the bottom and then I would run whatever codes here, which there's none. So let's make sure that side's working. Yep, so we got one side. I want to pick the whole square, so a square has four sides. I'm just going to reuse a repeat, right? I'm going to say, hey, repeat all that code four times. So this way, and I'm going to put all that in our function. The computer runs this once, hits the bottom, zoop, twice, three times, four times. Let's make sure I go around the square. Ta-da, awesome. Now, once I pick this whole square, notice this is now 1, because this is the only one that is 2. So I want to go right, because once it runs the function, it runs the line below it. So then I'll face this way, and I did all this in the last one. Um, so if you're stuck or I'm going too fast, check out the last puzzles tutorial, and I'll pick that whole square. Where do I end up after that? Okay. Well, then it looks like, let's see, I turn, and we only have 16 blocks. Okay. Oh, nope, not corn. <laughs> um, well, I could turn right again, actually. Because I have to turn all the way around, so I'm going to turn right twice. Choop, choop. And then I... And I'm going to move forward once gets me here, move forward twice, and then once I've moved forward twice, I'm right here. Just like I started at the edge of this square, I'll be starting at the edge of this square. And there's nothing in the middle, so I don't need to go into the middle. So maybe actions pick square now, or functions pick square. And so I run my function three times, but technically there's three squares. And then each in between, I'm just getting to the start of the next square. Let's give this a shot. Ooh, ooh. What happened there? Oh, so I need to turn left. So I should here. Once I get to here, turn left, and then I can go right around the square. Now I can go around the square, and I'll make right turns to pick everything, because I'm turning right in my function. But, uh, awesome. And if you want to get really fancy, I noticed... Pick square, turn right. Pick square, turn right.
we can do two things. I could put this into a loop if I wanted to get fancy. Right? Pick square, turn right, pick square, turn right. So I can put that into a loop. Or I could put turn right under this repeat four times. But let's do a repeat twice, because instead of saying it twice, I can just say repeat all that code twice. And yeah, we can have a function in a repeat. So I'll run the function once, I'll turn right, hit the bottom, run the function again, turn right, and then hit this. Let's see if this still works or if I mess something up. Oh yeah, so that way I save a block of code. Cool. All right. Let's uh, keep going.